In this video we're going to take a quick look at the client equipment module to start with and this is the first video in a series of videos around client equipment itself but this in this video we'll just have a look at the base module and we'll mention some of the others as we go through. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you the client equipment module at the moment it's empty we don't have any equipment um, we do have a group by the client but we can create a new module a new piece of equipment from here that we're going to manage and put in all the relevant details but what's probably more realistic is you're probably going to sell this particular item or sell a particular item and then we need to be able to manage that item as the or the piece of equipment as time goes on so things like keeping track of your service histories and warranties and field services and all those sorts of things we may need to keep track of so let's jump out of this and we'll go and sell a particular item or go to the sales module I'm going to create a new quotation I'm going to put my customer in here and it's you see it pulls in all the relevant information there and I'm going to add a product in this case I'm going to add a air compressor <clears throat> I'm going to change the warranty to a 24 month warranty I think you'll notice that updated the prices and so forth accordingly which will go into the warranty module in another video um, and what we'll do here is we'll confirm this and then we'll deliver the mod the um, compressor out now this does have serial numbers so I can actually modify the serial number here if I want to but I'm, that's not what this video is about there's plenty of other videos on how to manage serial numbers uh, for I do so I'm just going to skip over that for the moment and I'm just going to validate so and we do have the traceability button here because this is a serialized piece of equipment so now that's been done and go back and, and of, of course from my sales order I can create the quote sorry create the invoice and so forth as you would normally but again this, that's not what this uh, video is about so the next thing I want to do is go into the client equipment module and I can see it's now created a record in here grouped by the customer and that way you're going to see all of your relevant um, equipment based on the, uh, the, the, the belongs to a particular customer. I do have some advanced filters and things like that in here which we can use depending on, on, on how we want to do things but let's just go and open up this record and you can see that it's pulled in the name and the serial number in combination so we can look it up by a serial number or by its name and we also have the serial number tag and tag asset tag uh, field stand here if we need to use them We've got uh, the manufacturer, the reference that it came from. Uh, so sorry, that reference that uh, we might use. So there's a couple of um, different ways to track an asset and uh, with serial number, asset tags or references. We can see the model of the equipment here. Um, over on the, the left, we've got the uh, category. So we're gonna cr create categories for all the different pieces of equipment. So again, that gonna, it's gonna make it a lot easier to filter and find uh, equipment based on category we've got the owner who who the piece of equipment belongs to and this is not the necessarily the the, the reason why we've got owning in here is because we may not necessarily have sold this piece of equipment to to the, the client um, but we are looking after the piece of equipment for on the behalf of that client so we refer to it as the owner we've got the equipment address now this is an important concept here so if you consider that a company may have multiple sites which is all good but within each site you might have multiple buildings so let's take for example a large mine site that's covering many acres or hectares of space you might have half a dozen buildings you might have a dozen buildings on that particular site and if you're sending a, a repair person out to go and repair a piece of equipment it'd be really handy for them to know exactly where to go so each piece of equipment has its own address and its own location so they can be quickly identified exactly where it where it belongs on that site this so this may can differ completely to the uh, customer's address and even some of the contacts address so this is really the address of the equipment so I hope that makes sense and we can get down to this might can the equipment location itself within that address might be room numbers might be building numbers might be all sorts of locations we are tracking the warranty here so we can see this is under warranty 
considering we only just sold it with a two-year warranty and we can see the related sales order to it as well so that's the left and right side there oh there is a, I should also mention that on a particular site you may have multiple people that you need to contact but in terms of this piece of equipment this is the site contact you need to go and seek out so if you've got any problems or if you maybe you've got to turn up on site and you've got to uh, get a pass to come in this would be the person you contact um, but also maybe this is the my head engineer that's looking after this particular piece of equipment so we've got that person's information in here again a large mine site building site whatever might have dozens of different people that are responsible for different pieces of equipment so this is we, we associate this one piece of equipment with this one contact and that way um, that person can always be found uh, and identified um, further down we've got some tabs down here and again some of these are more relevant to future videos where we talk about the um, go into detail on some of these but we've got some notes in here so this these notes can be really helpful for field engineers to go and look up things like any notes about this particular piece of equipment if there's any anything they need to know about it we've got and, and by the way that's that's the, these notes um, can be used uh, can use uh, things like headers and uh, headings and bullet lists and checklists and all sorts of things in here you can include images in here videos in here uh, a whole range of different things in here if you need to um, add them to the notes so it is a very very flexible sort of notes arrangement and these things will appear on any repair orders that, that are needed but i'll leave that blank for the moment documents this is where you're going to link in things like the um, um, operations manuals the administration manuals user manuals service manuals or a whole range of documents and we and, and it's fairly straightforward to link them in if we need to um, maybe I'll link that in oh, I won't I won't bother linking that in but we can do that if we want to service history this is where as we do create uh, either repair orders or, or um, particularly field service orders where we've had to go out on site and repair this particular piece of equipment this will start to populate with all of those activities that are done and you also have the smart button up here where you can immediately jump to those, those repairs you've also got a couple of buttons up at the top here for creating a workshop repair where the items been returned to to our workshop for for fixing or we've gone out to site and done a field repair um, so in create one of those two options from here as well with some equipment their uh, software key, keys are required and, and often software keys are for, for those that don't know are, are, are keys that um, enable certain features so there may be uh, a certain key that is applied to a piece of particular electronic based equipment that turns on and off certain functionality and so those need to be tracked as well and then we've got warranty which is I've already as mentioned as part of that sales order we created an extended 24 month warranty which added some a bit of pricing to it but now we've got our um, warranty dates and so forth in here so we can see that whether this this particular item is under warranty or not and then the last thing is the field service schedules so if we need to go out and regularly update or, or uh, repair or even uh, calibrate maybe uh, a piece of equipment we can keep track of those and if we've got to do that on a regular interval basis we can add those in here I can add a new um, as I say calibration is a good one we may do monthly calibrations on this particular piece of equipment and we can set the duration and so forth into days months years um, and so forth and we can keep track of when it was last uh, last uh, carried out and we've got some instructions in here as well but again that we'll, we'll dig more deeper into that in the future videos i'll discard that and so as a general overview that's the basic um client equipment uh module now i will i will mention that um how this differs okay i should i should actually mention that so with 
with this, we're not just selling a product and then it's gone forever. This is about products that we, or, or uh, tools and equipment we sell and, and then we maintain over a per period of time. But we also may have a service contract in place with a particular client. And we, don't, we haven't necessarily sold all of that, that equipment to them. However, we need a way of tracking that equipment and um, making sure that we've got that service history and so forth, as mentioned. This is a really important feature to be able to uh, show the client the service history, how regularly we've got to go out there and repair and, and do servicing and so forth. Um, a part of that, that equipment life cycle is, is to keep a track of these things. But also from a regulatory compliance point of view, some equipment, uh, medical equipment, and um, particularly, um, say, fuel pumps, those types of things need to be regularly serviced and calibrated and checked. And through this tool, you can do that. So it's not just the um, items and products we sell, it's also uh, client equipment that we haven't necessarily sold, but we need to maintain and track for future purposes. So I shall leave it there, um, and in the next video we'll start digging into some of these other uh, 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 associated modules. See you there.